Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have amateur MMA over three, three minute rounds of action in the bantamweight division. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing Misfits MMA, Fabian Osman. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, representing Combat Sports Academy, Christian Cristaldo. Your referee, Dan Motherhady. So Rob, we're in the bantamweight division, amateur MMA, Fabian Osman in the blue, Christian Cristaldo with those blue shirts, shorts in the red. Close the distance quite nicely. Both fighters throwing good hands and feet combinations. Well, you could hear Fabian's corner saying, control it, Rob. They were saying, control it, as Christian came in. But it is Christian that got the takedown, Rob. It was good work. Fabian just playing with that open guard, looks to bring the legs up high, possibly looking for that triangle choke. Christian does well. And I heard Fabian's corner say, start breaking his posture, start breaking him down. But it's also good movement here by Christian. Back up. Very good movement by both fighters. Fabian needs to watch his neck, needs to concentrate I on just about to say, Rob, possible guillotine. Looks for that single. Doesn't quite get it. Very fast action. That neck looks to be in deep. Fabian's going to need to. Big slam wow. by Fabian, Rob, because as you said, that was in deep. The knee set that up, funnily enough. The standing knee. He got the, the guillotine on tight, but Fabian saw the danger, and that was the big slam just at the right point. Beautiful work. So he's just trying to use his legs there, but very quick work and transitions. Again, that neck needs to be very, very careful. Good work to get himself out of there. Exciting opening to this back, Rob. Two very fast young men, good upright, and, and very good transitions on the ground. And Bantam weights, they're fast and mobile. Such great talent being shown at the moment as he gets that takedown and as you said Mal, they're so young you know it's the evolution of the sport beautiful to see such young talented fighters with a great platform to showcase their skills on you know it, that's right fantastic. rob lfc yep and, and we know that lee our promoter prides himself on 50 50 matchmaking there's no easy bounce here on an lfc card And I think Fabian's done a good job of negating the danger there, wasn't it? Because we had a good spell there from Christian. He did, he's using that rubber guard very nicely. Just, as you can see, just his arm hooking over the leg. He's controlling the head there of Christian. Not allowing him to be able to explode upwards to strike down or to really do anything detrimental. And again, he just opens that guard, lets it fall. Those soft shots, he knows, won't do any damage. They're just there to distract him. 
but good work by Christian as he looks to pass the guard, moves to side mount. Great work, beautiful. But you saw as well, what I loved there was Fabian also reacted immediately there. They're so good, as I said in the transitions, they're reading each other very well. But the danger for the third time, the possible guillotine from Christian. Yeah, I mean, Fabian needs to be very, very careful. He keeps leaving his neck out like that. It's a dangerous position to be in. Christian will take advantage of it and get it locked in at some point. I mean, he's very lucky there that the bell went. Well, Rob, one of the things I will say was we had excellent upright work. Um, Christian initiated the takedowns. Fabian responded, well, we saw him in danger. For me personally, I'm going towards Christian for that initiation, for the man, for forcing Fabian to defend. But what we saw, as you said, were two very young, mobile, quick-thinking fighters in there. Yeah, both showing great skill and talent. I mean, the, the transitions are phenomenal. Very, very fast-paced. I mean, I don't know if they'll be able to, oh, they're young enough to keep this pace up for three rounds. <laughs> we shall see. Well, oh, Rob, the, we were talking about you. when you were young enough to do that. We were talking back to the glory days, you know, when we were at a certain age. And, I mean, I saw that photo of you as a young man. You know what these two young men are feeling. You've actually yeah. been there yourself at that age. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, it's an amazing feeling, especially when you're fighting in front of a crowd and your fans and people you know. It, it's a fantastic, amazing feeling. And win, lose or draw, you know. Obviously, no one wants to lose, but you do come away taking something from it and that's the most important thing the legend that is a friend of ours Ian Freeman said your amateur MMA is a learning curve that's all it's yeah, about exactly. your amateur career is to learn exactly you know there's no shame in losses and I've always been a strong believer in that you know you can get better from a loss um, you know a good friend of ours who's in the building this evening he went through many losses until eventually he got his victory and we were there we were there Rob. And we, we celebrated there. it with him just as much as he i mean did, what an know? incredible it's character because how many times was that man so close to victory and he kept going despite the setbacks and we know many fighters that gave up a lot sooner and now one of the top referees in the world so again, guys i like the upright exchanges rob i love them back to it and they look so comfortable in there Light, fast hands, closing the range. I like Christian's work, it's good work. He switches stance, puts out at different angles, different levels. And you can see, beautiful, he closed it, ranged it, got the takedown. And again, Fabian forced to react instantly. But for me, it's little moments like that that make me go in favour of the red corner if I was sat here judging Rob it's the little at key moments it seems to me that Christian's making the right decisions yeah definitely I mean he's again he finds himself comfortably in top you know, and he needs to be careful with this rubber guard because Fabian is and there he goes straight out the back door feels it not having any of it great work straight into side man oh, doesn't quite get it half guard and now Fabian trying to work him for a guillotine of his own he won't get it Christian just will know how to push himself up across the side. Because the thing here, Rob, the first 30 seconds of each round has been upright and they're very even upright. But you feel like we're seeing now with that knee as well with Christian, he controls the ground at the moment. Yeah, see, for me again, Fabian just held onto that neck too long. He allowed Christian, knee on belly, to slide it across into full mount. He should have taken his arm away from the neck a lot sooner and defended the knee on belly. You know, and this will come with experience. This is why these matches are so important. Yes, excellent 50-50 match game. Fabian back up right. He finds himself in a familiar position. Yeah, that guillotine, it, it's not in as tight as Christian would like it. He had it too much space in the side there. But now it's Fabian's turn to be on top position. First time in the bout will be very interesting now, Rob. And it, I think it's good timing for him. He needs this at this point in this bout. Yeah, I would agree. He needs to show some dominant control make Christian feel just what he's got from top position needs to be careful there not to get caught keep that head up there goes the arm and he's rolled here Rob this is dangerous Rob very dangerous indeed it looks for Fabian the, Fabian just so young and flexible but referee Dan Mavahidi too experienced not allowing it to go any further than it needs to he knew Fabian wasn't going out protect the fighters great work Dan Mavahidi and what a great match Malk as you said two young talented stars of the future Superb, and this is Robin. where they learn One. ladies and gentlemen two excellent young men in this ring please let's hear it for both of them
but we do have your winner by way of armbar in 220 of the second round it's the red corner christian cristaldo